Chiggy, we chose seafood pizza two ways. 400 grams of flour into a bowl. Half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of active dry yeast. We're putting 30 grams of oil into 180 grams of warm water. And we're gonna mix this till it's a nice smooth dough. Starting with the spatula until all the ingredients are moistened and then we are going to knead it. You don't think it's going to come together, but it eventually does. Okay, now we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of semolina onto our pizza trays. You could use cornmeal here if you like, and that'll give us a nice crusty finish on the bottom of our pizza. Don't need too much, about a teaspoon or so. And just put those to one side. Now we've got our dough here that has just risen for about an hour or so. And because we've got two different sized trays, we're going to cut this one piece bigger than the other. And we're just going to tip that out to degas it. Get everything out. Now, just cut this into not quite halfway, and we're just going to stretch this out. See how soft and pliable it is, and press it into our tray. And then we should let that prove for about 30 minutes or so. It'll rise again a little bit. Take it to our edges. Okay, that's one done. Grab our other one, do the same thing, pick it up and just start to stretch it out. I'm not gonna try and throw this because I'm gonna clean this kitchen. Keep stretching it. Come up the edges a little bit because we don't want our filling to get out. Okay, and now we're going to just go and pop that to warm place again for another half an hour while we prepare our filling. No need to cover them, just pop them in warm place. Okay, we've allowed our pizza doughs to rise for another 30 minutes or so and they're nicely risen. It's time to get on to our filling. We're doing two styles of pizza, both of them are seafood. One is a cream and wine based pizza and the other one is going to be the traditional tomato based pizza. To our pan we have added a good blob of butter and we are going to melt that and fry off our scallops which have got Tasmanian scallops or scallops that have just been cut into half. We want to get those nice and buttery. Our prawns have already been cooked. We're going to slice our salmon into thin slivers for the simple reason that it's actually raw. So there's no bones in this. So just come across the grain and take off your little leaves of salmon about that thick. Okay, we're not taking any of the skin with it. We don't need that. Okay, our butter's sizzling away there at the moment. We're going to just add our scallops and just brown those up a little bit with some freshly cut pepper and just some sea salt. Once they go a bit opaque we're taking them off and then we're going to make our cream wine based sauce in this butter, virtually like a roux. It's starting to smell quite nutty now. I'm going to turn it off and we're going to remove those little scallops. You can see they've gone quite buttery brown now and just pop them in with our prawns because they're going to be added last thing. Now the scallops have actually flavoured that butter. We're sending in our flour now, just a tablespoon of plain flour. Let's cook that rawness off. Then we're going to add our wine and our cream. Okay, wine can go in now. Just white wine and our cream. Back on with the heat. And we want this sauce to thicken significantly. Just starting to bubble now, as you can see. Turn the heat down to a low heat now. And this is quite a very thick white sauce, which has accepted the flavors of the white wine and also the browned butter and the scallops. Okay, just turn that off. I'll keep going with my fish. Okay, for our tomato based one, we've just got a tablespoon of chopped up tomatoes with some freshly cracked pepper. Some Mediterranean seasoning or Italian dried herbs, about a half a teaspoon there, and about 30 grams of tomato paste. We'll just mix that all around, and we're going to spread that with some onion onto our smaller pizza. Okay, because this is a tomato based one, we're actually going to be using some melty pizza cheese on that. So just spread your filling right out to the outer edge.
Okay, then we're sprinkling on a couple of our scallops. We've just been cut in half. They're tiny scallops, but that's what they are. We're putting on some prawns now. Some of our fish, just loop that around. Now we're just coming in with some onion. And then our cheese goes on top of that. Okay, now that fish is quite oily, so that's going to sort of soak into the pizza and give it a gorgeous flavor. And that is ready to go. Okay, for a cream based one now, our sauce has been sitting for a while and you can see that it's actually split. I'm not worried about that. We just turn it on low. I'm going to add a little lemon zest because that'll give it a gorgeous flavor. Lemon and fish is fantastic together. Just a little, as you can see there. And a squeeze of lemon juice will bring that back. Just about a tablespoon there. Once that heats up, it'll bring it back from its split state. And you can smell that lemon zest as being emulsified with that butter. And the fragrance coming off this is, is truly quite magical. Okay, before this splits again on me, it's taken a little bit to bring that back. We're just gonna send in our prawns and our scallops. Okay. And our spring onions. And we're going to spread that over our large pizza base, dot it with our pieces of fish and sprinkle it with some just grated parmesan cheese. This sauce is still pretty hot, so I don't really want to try and spread it out too much. There's a little bit of prawn and scallops and everything on every piece of that pizza. And now, just a ceremonial sprinkle over the top of some Parmesan cheese. Now we've got a pizza oven, a pizza maker, which is just a little bench top one. And that's what we're gonna be cooking these in. So at this stage, this is what you've got to start with. A tomato-based seafood pizza and a cream and wine-based seafood pizza. This is my little pizza oven. It's a new wave pizza oven. They weren't very expensive and I don't know if they are still available but they cook pizzas in about eight or so minutes. They've got variable temperature control on here. I don't want this one to be too hot but I don't mind if that's quite hot. It's got a pizza stone in it so it's heated from the top and from the bottom. It looks pretty ordinary because you slide your pizza straight onto that stone but I'm going to be putting these on on the tray and checking the base. If the base needs it I can actually slip the tray out from underneath it and then I just cook it straight onto the stone. Okay, we're going to pop our tomato based seafood pizza in there now. It's smoking hot and we'll cook that for, check it out for about five minutes to make sure that it's doing everything it should be doing. Okay, we're just going to check underneath this and see if it needs a bit more attention on the base before it gets too cooked up on the top and it does. So we're just going to physically lift this tray off, pick up our pizza with our little lifter uppers and pop it back onto the base and just give it another couple of minutes. Okay, our tomato base one is ready to come out now. It's nice and crispy, golden and bubbly on top. And we're gonna pop the next fellow in on his tray. And do the same thing if it's warranted at the time of removal. Just leave this for a little while. See that crunch? And look what we have here. <laughs> there you go, Appleberries. I hope you like our version of the tomato-based seafood pizza. Okay, same thing again. We're gonna take it off the base and pop it back on to crust up the bottom. Okay, we're ready now to come out and we're just going to let that sit for a few minutes to settle down because it's screaming hot. It's nice and crispy and golden on the bottom. And we're just going to pop it there and let it rest for a few minutes until it stops sizzling and it'll hold its shape better when I cut it. Okay, a cream wine based pizza has settled right down now and it's time to cut it. All these juices have settled back into the pizza. And you can hear it's crunchy. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration of Chiggy Richo's seafood pizza two ways. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Chiggy Richo cooking channel. And don't forget, 
to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon yet if you have a recipe request or something you'd particularly like to see us make just put a comment on our either our facebook page or down in the comments below and that is our cream and wine based seafood pizza which one's your favorite our tomato based one or our cream and wine based one both of them equally delicious it just depends on your personal preference thanks for watching